Hello and welcome everyone. Let's talk about Lovable AI Supabase integration. In just the next few minutes, I'll cover how to set up your Lovable AI Supabase integration and how to get around a few snags you'll probably run into like I did. Let's dive in. So far, I am loving Lovable AI. In just five prompts, the idea I had for my own gig work management platform is starting to take shape. I think this is just amazing. Check it out. I have a great looking landing page with a nav bar on top on the right side of that nav bar, I have a sign up button and a login link. If I click on the sign up button, here's the page I asked Lovable AI to create with an explanation of the differences between the manager and the worker roles and buttons so the user can choose which role they want to sign up for. This button leads to the sign up form for the manager role I asked Lovable to create. And this button leads to a different sign up form for workers where the Lovable AI correctly determined I would want a couple additional fields for workers such as skills and experience. Once users have signed up, they will be able to log in with this login page Lovable created. But now I have hit a wall. None of these forms or other features of my platform will work without a database and authentication services. Fortunately, Lovable AI's Supabase integration provides both, but it is a beta feature, so there are some things you should be aware of that I'll cover in a moment. In my first prompt to implement Supabase, Lovable AI responded with some steps for me to follow, as well as a link to Supabase integration docs, which I promptly did not read. Just kidding, I did glance at them, and I'm glad I did because the steps that Lovable provided in the chat left a couple of things out. But unfortunately, the instructions in the integration docs were also a little too vague and didn't warn me about a couple issues I was about to run into. I had never used Supabase before, so I had to create an account before I would be able to create a project for my app. Since I was already signed into GitHub, I decided to use my personal business GitHub account to sign up with Supabase. Then Supabase automatically directed me to set up my first organization and project, for which I just kept all of the default settings for. And once I had my Supabase organization and project set up, I went back to lovable.dev and clicked on the Supabase button as previously instructed by these steps, and then clicked on another Connect Supabase button under that button. And this part was a little confusing and stumped me for a second. It opened this pop-up with a video in it. I watched the four minute video figuring it contained info on where to click on next, but it was mostly unhelpful, leaving me think, where was I? Where do I click next? I finally realized all I had to do was click the Connect Supabase button again for a third time, this time on the one inside the pop-up to finally get the dialog that would allow me to grant Lovable API access to my Supabase project. Once I granted the Supabase API access to Lovable, I was able to navigate to the dialog to select the organization and project I wanted to connect to. And after I clicked connect, this prompt was automatically generated for me. This all seemed to work. Lovable detected that my project didn't have any tables yet and made a bunch of changes to the code to make Supabase work with my app and Lovable. After that, the app urged me to just keep building and highly recommended setting up authentication first. So my next prompt was to add authentication on the manager and worker signup pages. Lovable got to work on that by first generating the database SQL it was going to run through the API, which it asked me to review and approve. So I did by clicking on the button, which generated this prompt for me. This ran the SQL code I reviewed on the database and automatically initiated a database migration. And then I hit another little snag with this response. For development purposes, you might want to disable email verification in the Supabase console. It gave me two links to click on, but neither of them worked, leading me to errors. At first, this response made me think, something's seriously wrong here. But fortunately, after a bit of research, I did figure out what to do. All I had to do was go to my Supabase console and navigate to authentication and providers, make sure email was the only one enabled from now, and also clicked on email and turned off this confirm email switch to turn off email confirmations. Comparing links between my Supabase console and the chat window, I realized Lovable is using broken links in the chat. It should be structuring the links like this. Also, I couldn't see a reason why it gave me another broken link to the users section, except as a reference. There was nothing I would really need to do there, except maybe manually delete users for testing. It seems like fixing broken links should be an easy fix they would have implemented by now, what with all of their users. But hey, 
Superbase integration is technically in beta. We've been warned. As a side note, I am really impressed with all of the authentication providers Supabase supports. I'm wondering how well some or all of these might work. So if you want your app to work with Apple or Facebook or Google credentials, it looks like that might be a possibility for your app, something I look forward to trying in a later video. Anyway, looking at the last response to see what to do next, I noticed it said, let me know when you'd like me to implement the code changes for the signup pages to connect them with Supabase authentication. So I did that. And it implemented all of this, including success messages and error handling, which I was able to test and verify. I was able to sign up managers and workers and get access to the dashboard after sign up. And it was pretty much smoothish sailing from there, except for one more hang up I'll explain how to potentially fix in a moment. But first, I want to show you what I've been able to accomplish with Lovable AI's Supabase integration so far. After about 30 prompts, I can now sign up managers and log them in here. I can look at all of the jobs stored in the database by clicking the jobs link here. I can edit a particular job by clicking the edit button for that job. I can view a job by clicking the view button for a particular job, which includes this messaging interface, which stores status updates and messages in the database. I can also sign users out. I can also sign in workers, which get a slightly different view of the data, which includes a new jobs tab where Users can see all new jobs that haven't been assigned yet and the ability to view and bid on them down here. Then once they are assigned a job, they can see the list of jobs they have been assigned under my jobs. The only issue I ran into doing all of this work is that when you start working with Supabase in your app, it seems like you get more of these errors where you are given the option to try to fix the error or show the logs. I got into a bad habit of just clicking try to fix instead of show logs. I'm going to recommend you don't do this because while most of the time I believe there was an error that Lovable seemed to fix, there have been a couple of other times where this error popped up intermittently and then just kept popping up every time I clicked on try to fix. At some point, I realized that when these errors occur, a much better way to deal with them is to always look at the logs, then X out of the error, click the refresh here and see if the error happens again, checking the logs to see if it is the same error. I do this two or three times now to make sure I'm consistently getting the same error before I have the AI try to fix it. What I'm finding is that some errors are a complete fluke that never happen again, and that some of these errors are intermittent and might not need to be fixed right away. And of course, even with authentication and a database, your app is completely useless unless you can deploy it to the web for everyone to see. Watch this video now to learn how to deploy your app. If you don't see a video here yet, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you will get notified when it comes out. I hope I helped you with your lovable AI Supabase integration efforts. Like the video if I did, and be sure to leave a comment if you still have questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.